Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senator Rick Santora. Thank you very much. It is great to be back here in CPAC. Let me uh, first do what I always do, which is uh, introduce my family who has uh, joined me here today, my co-author in life and our newest book, Bella's Gift, my wife Karen, who's down here, and the rest of our seven children, uh, everybody here but Bella, uh, are here today. So thank you so much for, uh, for welcoming us and welcoming them. Thank you. 2016 is going to be a different election. The world has changed. We don't need just someone with a strong economic plan. Thanks to the Obama-Clinton foreign policy team, we have gone from a policy of peace through strength to a policy of lead from behind, and it has been disastrous for the American people and for the world. It wasn't just the president's liberal outlook, but his profound lack of experience that has created the problems for us here in America. Commander-in-chief is not an entry-level position. And the Oval Office is no place for on-the-job training, not in times like this. We need to start by crushing ISIS, now. And yes, we need to do airstrikes, not five or ten a day, not a public relations stunt that the President is doing today, but we need to take serious destroying ISIS. We need to hit ISIS to defeat them. If ISIS wants to establish a 7th century caliphate, well, let's oblige them by bombing them back to the 7th century. <laughs> Refusing to embrace the reality of evil is nothing new. In the 1930s, Winston Churchill warned the world about the gathering storm, and the world sat quietly by until it was almost too late. In 2006 through 2009, I traveled the country. In fact, I gave my farewell address to the United States Senate about what I call the gathering storm of the 21st century, the rise of militant radical Islam. I was called everything from chicken little to a warmonger. The first speech I gave was in the summer of 2006 after I had worked to try to pass a sanctions bill on the Iranian nuclear program that I had authored. We failed by a few votes. Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, John Kerry all voted against Iranian sanctions. This is a dangerous time. But here's the good news. Elections matter. 2016 is an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, just like 1980 was. In 1980, it took one election and one president to return America's standing and to defeat evil in the world. In 2016, we need another president prepared to make America again that shining city on a hill for all to see. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, Senator Santorum. At this time, we are taking questions from conservatives all across the country. They've been tweeting their questions. Given the world's current events, would you strengthen our military? I think we need a robust military to defend ourselves, and to protect our security interests, and to make sure that we can be a reliable ally. We need to lead the world. If America doesn't lead the world, someone else will. Look to what's going on in Russia. Look to what's going on in China. Look to what's going on in the Middle East. Look what's happening down in Central and South America. Other leaders are rising as we recede, and the world is not a better and safer place. So America must be strong, and it must lead. Thank you, Senator. We really appreciate you being here today. We wish you the best of luck, and God bless. Thank you very much. God bless you all.